I mean, you want to see pace on the penalties, I think, and, and a bit of height. So you, yeah. you can't be too disappointed no, with those no. penalties. You, like, like, like we were just saying about Harry Kane, really. Yeah. You know, and particularly, particularly them. You know, that's a that's a real big occasion for them. The Youth Cup. I uh, played Youth Cup uh, like Spurs. two years. Yeah. So yeah. I, I played when I was a year younger. I played and yeah. got knocked out at Stockport, and I got dragged at half time. Uh, oh dear. So not the best memory of that one. No. But um, it's a lot of pressure, to be fair, because you, you're all of a sudden in that, you know, people, more people watching the game and actually, you know, competition. And so that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, we had Vernon, uh, the number seven, Vernon Massara is only 15, still at school. So, yeah. you know, it's a real opportunity for young lads. And Lucas is first year, isn't he? Lucas Wayne is first year. Yeah. So, you know, they'll play again next year. Uh, they play West Ham now in the next round. That'll be a toughie, I think. Yeah, it'll be a tough one, yeah. They'll, they'll all be tough, but yeah, it's... Um, but no, it's, it's great experience for the lads, and, and like you were saying about the, you know, the, the senior side. Now you learn a lot about your players' characters, and um, I think that was a massive, uh, a massive bonus for them to uh, get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah to get really through. Was. They stuck at it. It was a, a late finish in the end. It was. I told yeah. the missus I'll be back for half now, and it <laughs> ended up nearly 11 o'clock. But a good game, a really, really good game, and I enjoyed it. Burnley through. They'll play West Ham in the next round of the FA Youth Cup. Back to here. Um, you're not surprised, are you? Both sides have gone strong. Uh, no, no, not at all, really. I, I, I expected Burnley to go strong because, um, you know, like we said, the form they're on. Do you know what I mean? They just keep rolling the team, rolling the games out, really. And um, but I think, like I said, there was. Pro I probably expected maybe a few more fringe players for United, but I think that's the respect they got for Burnley. Really. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm under the impression Rashford and uh, the likes of Shaw came back for one training session yesterday, played today. Yeah, yeah. Which is a little bit of a surprise. I assume Casemiro's the same. Yep. You know, they went to the uh, quarterfinals, didn't they? So a little bit surprised that, you know, after one training session, they're back in. Yeah, I just, I think, to be honest with you, I, I know it's it's not usually probably one of Man United's priorities, this cup, but I think with the, with the circumstances, I think this is... This is a good chance of silverware for him, I think. Yeah, so, like, he'll see it as a chance yeah, of winning a trophy early 100%. in his tenure. Yeah. At a difficult time, as you said, for the club, with the sale going to be imminent. Yeah. He'll want a trophy on the cabinet if he can. And, of course, Man City and Liverpool play each other tomorrow night, so that kicks one out, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. So, it's... Um yeah, I just think I think that, like by the said, by the team they played, I think he's thinking this is a possible trophy. But like I said, it's um, it's definitely not going to be an easy game. A, a word about the fans, Dean, because we've sold 7,200 for this one, uh, with the best supported club away from home in the Championship, which is just magnificent. Yeah, I've, I've, I say to everyone, you just can't. I know every player thinks you know their home fans are uh, are good, but nothing. I've not seen any any fans like Burnley fans. Um, I've been to. I watch a lot of football now, um, and I, you know, I went to Preston, for example, um, at the weekend, and it's just here a pin drop. Do you know what I mean? And, and I don't think fans realise sometimes that you the know, part you can play. Yeah, you can lift the teams, and I think that's what, particularly the Burnley fans, they do unbelievable. I think they sense when the when the lads are struggling or they need a lift. Yeah. Even if it's even if it's you know just you know a bit of criticism, but it, it, at least you get some kind of reaction. Do you yes. Know what I mean? Whereas yeah. a lot of teams, it's just kind of you know hoping just for a goal, for a little cheer, and that's it. But yeah, Burnley are different. Yeah, I mean it's it's a great response from from relegation. You know, it could have been everybody on a downer. We sold more season tickets this season than we'd done last in the Premier League, and just found a, a, a way of kicking on, and the crowd are part of it. Yeah, oh, 100%. Like you said, I think sometimes, it, like you said, it, it, with other fans, I think it goes the other way, and they, they you start the, the next season. I think I think you see it with West Brom a little bit. You know, they, they've, yeah. they've suffered over the years where the, it seems like the crowd are constantly kind of on the players, on the team, sure. on the, the, yeah. you know, the, the board, whatever. Do you know what I mean? And it and it just creates uh, negativity for the yeah. players, and it's so difficult. But Burnley fans are just completely different, and I think obviously the management now with the staff is. You know, it's just it's a, a great feeling. At the minute. Sold every ticket for tonight, sold every ticket for Stoke City a week on Friday. I, I mean, that is a fantastic response. But the football's good, isn't it? They're, they're seeing good football, they're seeing goals, 50 league and cup goals now for Burnley. Yeah, incredible. You know, you're getting some, some, some value for your money, yeah, I guess, yeah. in a difficult times. Yeah, like, obviously, like I said, when the, when the team's playing so, so well and as uh, offensive as they are now, do you know what I mean? Obviously, that, that helps because you, 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 you're you seeing a lot more entertainment, do you know what I mean? Obviously, when uh, when I was playing, do you know, sometimes it was a bit more... 
I think it's difficult it. in the Premier League, isn't yeah. it? Johan touched on that this week. You know, you're, you're looking for wins. You might only have 10, 11, 12 wins in the yeah, season. Exactly. And the camp is spread out. Yeah, 100%. And it's, it's difficult, but like I said, I never, never once did, did, you, did you ever get the feeling like, you know, that the fans were on you or, you know, it was always positivity. And they, it, as long as I think the Burnley fans, as long as they see everyone giving everything. Effort. Yeah, um, effort. Yeah, yeah. Don't forgive poor yeah. performances, you know yeah. what I mean? Or I remember podcast. Michael Duff in his first few weeks and you know if you give absolutely everything Duffold they'll love you yeah. and they did you know yeah. one of the all time you know Claret's legends yeah I believe you know. he's doing and great to see him do so well but Barnsley yeah, yeah Barnsley yeah yeah so they, that, that's it you know that they, they, they asked for 100% I mean Sean Dyche always said that didn't it yeah, I think obviously he, he installed that, and uh, I think it was a, it was a, I don't know quite know how it was worded, but I think when Vincent Company came in, I think he said he, there were certain yeah. things that he wanted to keep. He was clever there, yeah. wasn't he? Carry on what he'd got and add to and it add in, to, in yeah. different ways. Because obviously he would have he would have come up against Burnley teams, and you know, and I don't think anyone, regardless if win, lose or draw, I don't think anyone would have said if Burnley was an easy game. Do no. you know what I mean? Ever. Yeah. So yeah, it's, even uh, if you're Man City. Yeah, of course, yeah. it's always yeah. going to be hard. It's a big game, this, isn't it? You know, you sense United will, 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 will want to win it to progress to the quarterfinals, but Burnley will want to just put a marker down, show everybody how, how far this club's come. Yeah, I, I definitely. I think, um, like I said, obviously the priority is definitely the league, but I think I think this is an opportunity now. Like I said, with the, with the two big boys going... I'd say tomorrow. Yeah, yeah so that's... Yeah. Uh, and you look and um, you know just looking at the, the things there on the, on the and you look at them teams and you're thinking if only we fancy themselves against anyone yeah particularly at Turf this, Moor you know yeah I mean? it's just a shame we've lost a couple of the tiers ambulance strike today they've had yeah. to reduce the capacity it would have been a full house yeah you know for the Carabao Cup they've had to actually write to Manchester United fans and you know pay them back and, and say you can't come because you know we're reducing the capacity yeah. that's a bit of a shame that's isn't a shame it? yeah yeah we touched on that earlier like, obviously there'll be a lot of might have been a lot of uh, children, you know, the yeah, first ever game. First time, yeah, yeah. So, but it's, it's, uh, it, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. We're yeah. here tonight. We're just waiting for the uh, players to come out. Big night for Bailey Peacock Farrell, isn't he? he? You know, he doesn't get many opportunities. He'll want to do well tonight. Yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's a good opportunity for him. Um, he's, you know, he's, he's been patient, hasn't he? And, uh, you know, hopefully it, it goes well for him. Here come the teams, Manchester United against Burnley, Carabao Cup fourth round tie, let's go through the teams for you. For Burnley in goal, Bailey Peacock Farrell at right back, Connor Roberts free from suspension, that red card was rescinded, Ian Matson at left back, Taylor Harwood Bellis of course on loan from Man City just down the road alongside Jordan Bear. Holding roles for Jack Cork and Josh Cullen, head of them Johan Berg Goodmanson, former Manchester United junior Josh Brownhill and Manuel Benson up front. Ashley Barnes. He scored in the last round against Crawley Town. Nine subs today. Aaron Muric, Charlie Taylor, CJ Egan Riley, Jay Rodriguez, Scott Twine, Luke McNally, Samuel Bastian, Darko Cherlinoff, and youngster Marcel Lewis. For United, strong, strong side. Martin de Bracker in goal. Aaron Wambasaka right back. Tyrrell Molassi at left back. Victor Lindelof, and we think Scott McTominay in centre back. Christian Eriksen, Casemiro ahead of them. Then Marcus Rashford, fresh from England's World Cup bid alongside Bruno Fernandes the skipper Alejandro Ganacho look out for him just 18 Argentinian youth international got the winner at Fulham before the World Cup break up front Anthony Martial subs for United De Gea Fred Anthony Shaw Palistri Uruguayan international Brandon Williams Van der Beek Alanga and youngster Reese Bennett our referee is Graham Scott Premier League official Darren Bond is the fourth official. Burnley chain strip, sky blue short, uh, sky blue shirts, dark blue shorts, light blue socks. Manchester United, of course, in red and white. If you're watching on social media, thanks for joining us on Pre-Match Live. You can now switch over to Clarets Plus on our official app or website for live audio commentary. Simply go to burnleyfc.com forward slash packages. Thanks for joining us on social media. We'll see you very soon. Have a good Christmas, everybody. We'll see you on Tuesday for the Birmingham City game.